Hi, and welcome to the Xpromo Academy. Today we're going to talk about how we can mix the different primary colors into exactly the color we want in all our pixels. Let's have a look. Red, green, and blue. All these colors can be mixed together in order to create exactly the color that we want, such as white. However, if we want to mix different colors in different shades, then we will need to control the intensity of each and every color in each and every pixel on the entire LED screen. And how that is done, I would like to show you. What we need to do is control the intensity of the LED. I have here a blue LED. And I will now switch it to a very low frequency so that you can see that it's blinking. Look very close at it, you'll notice that about half the time it's off and the other half of the time it's on. This is called the duty cycle. Basically, half of the time it's, it's using current and the other half of the time it's not consuming any current or any power. And the important thing to notice here is that when it's on, it's fully on. There's no resistor in connection with the LED, it's just fully on. So there's no waste of energy when it's on. All the electricity is going into the LED and is being converted to light. However, one might ask, how can we change the intensity of the LED then if no resistor is used? And this is an important trick that I would like to show you. As we can agree now, the LED is blinking and it's about half the time on and half the time uh, off. If I turn down this knob here, what I do here is that I change the time that it's on and the time that it's off. The frequency that it's blinking with, meaning the time it takes between each blink is the same, but the amount of time that it's on is now less, it's about 10%, and the amount of time that it's off is about 90%. And then I will turn up the frequency. As you can see now, it's still blinking, but it's blinking a bit faster. Now turn up the frequency, still turning up the frequency, still blinking. Notice what happens now. Now I'll turn down the duty cycle. So now it's 10% on and 90% off. Or the other way, here it's 10% off and 90% on. You can almost now imagine what happens if I turn the frequency further up because it's easy to see now that it's, it looks more intense now than it does at this rate. Let's increase the frequency. You can still see that it's blinking here. Then I'll turn it up further. And now it becomes flashing so fast that, that the human eye and the camera can't see it anymore. It's just, it's just blinking so fast that we, that we don't notice it. And actually, if I push it to the level where we are now, this is about the frequency that it's blinking with in our LED screen. It's about 2,000 2, times per second. If I then change the duty cycle to 10%, then you can see that the intensity is lower. And if I increase it to 90%, the intensity becomes higher. And this way it is possible to control the intensity of the LED using this technology. And that makes it possible to have a very efficient, very uh, high intensity LED screen with a very high brightness at a relatively low power consumption. And that way we can mix exactly the color that we want. So we are not confined to a setup where we only can do red, green, and blue, and then mix those together in only one type of color, for example, magenta, cyan, or yellow. We can actually do different shades of yellow, different shades of blue, basically all the different colors that, that the human eye can see. That is possible using this technology. I can note here that in a full HD screen, there are six million LEDs. Um, this is controlled using digital uh, transmission of signals from, for example, your computer or wherever you get your video or image content to the LED screen. And then the LED screen changes the, that signal into this pulse width modulation. Thanks for watching. And I really hope that this makes some sense to you. It's really an important part of modern LED screens. Please have a look at our other videos and welcome back here at the Xpromo Academy.